Yo, what's happening? We got all stands in Stone Ocean, but we're going to be putting these in a tier list. This is based off description. I'm a noob. I have not watched this shit. Kicking things off with the first stand to appear in Stone Ocean is what I refer to as Stone Free Underdeveloped, which appears as just a strain with a few minor abilities that help the user Jolene Cujo, our main Jojo, survive her first day in Green Dolphin Street Prison. Jolene is able to use this ability shortly after being pierced by a fragment of the stand arrow that was given to her by her mother and delivered by her lawyer during her transfer. Jolene's strain is awoken as soon as she arrives at Green Dolphin, almost like a defense mechanism, and is first seen allowing her to eavesdrop from close to long distances as well as use the strain physically to pickpocket and attack, as it would appear to be as sharp as piano wire when under tension being able to cut flesh. The strain's range is also Damn. pretty considerable as Jolene was able to track down a moving car and kill the driver while still inside the prison. Showcasing the stand also acts as a sixth sense, being able to sense where the strain is without actually being able to see it. The strain is also an integrated type stand, which is a first for a main Jojo. Integrated meaning that the stand and the user are one and the same, as the stand manipulates the, the user's fuck? body. Other examples of integrated type stands from earlier parts would be Earth, Wind & Fire, Octon Baby, and Kanop. As for now, the stream does not have a name, but the user is our main Jojo, Jolene Cujo. I watched a Jolene, I watched a Jolene video, so I kind of got a good understanding of where her stand is. Her stand is tough, bro. And you could put that in overpower, no cap. The user is our main Jojo, Jolene Cujo. Next up is Goo Goo Dolls, the first minor villain fight in the part, with an ability to shrink anyone within its range nearly instantly. This stand is often compared to Little Feet from part five due to their similar abilities, although Goo Goo Dolls differs in a few ways, as the stand cannot shrink its user, but can be activated on targets much easier than Little Feet. The stand shrinking limit appears to be about the size of a mouse, as the user will often force its target into the carcasses of small rodents. And the affected what target the will remain shrunk as long as it's within the stand's range, which is short to medium specified as 20 to 30 meters. The stand can also recall its effect at will in order to crush the target between objects or in small spaces as they expand. The stand itself appears as a small fail creature that cannot change its size, but has claws and teeth that can ravage a shrunken target. The stand user is Jolene's cellmate Guess, referencing the fashion brand, and Goo Goo Dolls referencing the alternative rock band. I ain't gonna lie, I mean, it don't sound bad, but they don't sound good at the same time, not gonna lie to you. I could put it at decent. It's not dog shit, but I could put it at decent. I'm watching JoJo's on my stream, by the way. Y'all go follow my Twitch. I might be live on YouTube short sometimes. Link will be down below. Coming back to Jolene, following Goo Goo Doll's attack, we see her stand's full awakening, stone-free in its humanoid form, which retains all of its abilities as the stone strength free. being an integrated type stand, but Jolene can now choose whether to summon the stand or use its abilities through her own body. But the stand is still essentially strain, and when close to Jolene, it's just her strain heavily concentrated, forming a humanoid body, providing physical power comparable to, say, Star Platinum or Crazy Diamond, Diamond, only it's slightly weaker. And Jolene, now with the full capabilities of Stone Free, pretty much just becomes a superhero with one of the most versatile stands in the whole series, allowing her to swing around like Spider Man, punch like Jotaro, heal herself That's, by stitching ooh. up her wounds, which her body is also made of strain, so she can also deconstruct most of her body and her stand to pass through objects like fences and cell bars, as well as protect herself from oncoming attacks by weaving the strings together to create an extremely durable textile comparable to a bulletproof vest. And there's about a hundred other other creative uses like of her stand what, throughout bro? the part. The stand user is of course Jolene Cujo, whose name is in reference to the Dolly Parton song Jolene, and Stone Free is a reference to the Jimi Hendrix song of the same name, which is a song about breaking free from oppression and the importance of living life by your own rhythm. Living Stone Free to do as you please. Like I said, people were saying that she was the worst Joe star. From what this sounds like, she sound like one of the best ones. I'm not gonna lie to you. Into the part, we have the returning Star Platinum as Jotaro Cujo arrives at Green Dolphin. And this is now Star Platinum's third appearance on All Stand, so we should oh, all know nigga. what this stand does by now. It's Star Platinum, incredible strength, speed, precision, it's pretty good at drawing, and it's just the original punching ghost that eventually obtained the ultimate ability to stop time. In part 6, it is stated that Star Platinum is fully developed with a maximum time stop of roughly 5 seconds, although Johto's reaction time is noticeably slower as he's aged and will sometimes not be able to activate the ability fast enough to completely avoid attacks. As well as nearing the end of the part, the stand's durability drops 
from an A to an E, showing that Jotaro is becoming weaker as time passes. Damn. The stand user is, of course, Jotaro Kujo, and the stand's name is in reference to the Star Tarot card. If I'm being honest, though, bro, Jolene's stance it still sounds better than Star Platinum. The motherfuckers need a spar, like Goku and Gohan. Jotaro is just smart with his stand, bro. I'm gonna still put it in neutral, though. All right. Another minor villain stand, we have Manhattan Transfer, boasting zero offensive capabilities on its own, rather than look that weird as hell. its user's own physical abilities. Being a highly trained veteran sniper who's almost completely blind, but with his stand being a small floating object that senses movements through wind currents, allows the user to visualize spaces through this information like a sixth sense, comparable to 360 degree vision, being able to notice very what? precise movements. Although the stand's readings can be disrupted by unnatural wind currents caused to confuse the stand, the stand can also read direct bullets to hit targets behind cover and ricochet bullets. The stand user is John Gallier, who is actually responsible for framing Jolene and creating the plan to get Jotaro to prison to take revenge on him. As John Gallier is referred to as a forgotten follower of Dio, who after 20 years still holds a grudge against the Joe Stars and wants nothing more than to end the bloodline. I ain't gonna lie, him redirecting bullets though, decent. It's just decent. It's not all that, bruh. But plot twist, the real plan was being orchestrated by our next stand, White Snake, to lure Jotaro to Green Dolphin and steal his memories, using John Gallier simply as a pawn to do his work. White Snake is the stand possessed by our main villain of the part that is introduced very early, as well as it has a lot of abilities. It was first seen used to place Jotaro and Jolene in a dreamlike state and slowly decay their bodies with an acid produced by the stand, which is a slow process comparable to stomach acid digesting food. The stand can also what? influence the dreamlike state to some extent, as it allowed John Gallier to fight Jotaro and Jolene with his stand within the dream to keep them distracted. Separately, is White Snake's main ability of disc manifestation, being able to remove two main discs from any individual, being a memory disc and a stand disc, and removing both will leave the target in a comatose state. The stand can then freely use these discs as they please, like placing them in new hosts as easily as ejecting or inserting a CD into a player, allowing the user to play God in a sense, injecting new memories into <laughs> themselves as others as well as stands. Although what any individual fuck, is limited bro? to one memory disc and one stand disc at a time, the stand can also create and collect a seemingly unlimited amount of discs, although they must remain physical objects when unused. Disc manifestation also extends to smaller attributes such as senses like vision being able to remove a specific aspect of a target, similar to say soft and wet from part 8 but through a disc. And on top of all of that, White Snake can also create complex illusions through disguising the stand as other people for a short period of time. The stand is considered long range, allowing the user to keep eyes on most of the prison remotely and has considerable strength and speed at close ranges. Being able to get the jump on Star Platinum and keep pace with Stone Free in a fist fight. The stand user is Enrico Pucci, the Green Dolphin Prison Priest and successor to Dio, whose name is in reference to the fashion designers Enrico Coveri and Emilio Pucci, and the stand's name White Snake is in reference to the classic rock band of the same name. I kinda like that, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, White Snake got it, bro. And they said he was the main villain too, so obviously they're gonna, they gonna give him all the ability. That stand is too tough not to put up high, bro. Bro, I really just don't think anything is better than Jolene's stand, bro. So I'm gonna put that one in neutral. I don't know if anything even gonna reach God tier in this one, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Next up is a much simpler stand, Kiss, with the ability of sticker duplication, being able to place a sticker on any object and perfectly duplicate it, as well as remove the sticker, causing the duplicated object to collide with the original and fuse together, leaving the what original the object slightly damaged. The Kiss sticker will only duplicate within reason. For example, if placed on a person, it will not duplicate the entire person, only the body part it was stuck to, like a finger or a Head. Kiss is a stand infamous for its outrageous stand stats, having an A in every category besides precision, which may seem bizarre, but always remember that stand stats are relative to the stand's ability, and no stat has a set baseline. So to quickly explain the stand stats, A in power referring to the force at which the two objects are fused back together, as no matter the obstacle or distance, once the sticker is removed, they must return to each other. A in speed referring to the speed at which the objects are duplicated and restored, which is virtually instant. A in range as a duplicated object can go as far away from the stand user or original object as possible with no effect. See in precision because as we mentioned earlier, the stand can only duplicate within reason and duplicates whatever it's closest to, which may not always be as precise as the user intends. And A in learning, which is the most interesting stat as it implies that KISS is very underdeveloped and has great potential to grow over time. The stand user is Hermes Costello, referencing the musician Elvis Costello, and the stand's name KISS is in reference to the rock and roll band of the same name. Yeah, bro, I like the creator of this show, bro. Oof fuck takes a, a damn stamp printer doing this type of shit bro i'm put that one in neutral too
Highway to Hell, also considered one of the worst stands in JoJo, is a simple damage transfer from user to target ability, but this paired with the user's suicidal tendencies makes it a lethal stand for its targets. The stand appears as small propellers that will protrude from the affected area of the body the user is damaging. The stand's range is seemingly infinite after the user has determined the target, so it's best to stay close to prevent the user's suicide. This stand is considered so bad because in order to cause any real damage or kill your target, you would need to kill yourself. The stand user is Thunder McQueen in reference to the fashion designer Alexander McQueen and Highway to Hell in reference to the ACDC song Bro, of the same name. Dude, that would be the worst. So you can't use your stand at all, really. The first episode this nigga was in, he killed himself. I was playing. I don't even know that, but bro, that's literally what it sounds like, bro. Fuck that. That shit is dog shit. I can see why they said that was the worst one. Burning down the house is a stand with no physical form and the ability to recreate spaces and objects from the past that had been destroyed by fire. These are referred to as ghost rooms rooms and ghost objects which dude that is specific as hell so damn specific not be seen or entered by anyone unless the user grants them access. These ghost rooms do not take up any physical space similar to the space within Bruno's zippers like pocket dimensions and are usually accessed through cracks and crevices within the prison walls. As well as within the ghost rooms, they will remain exactly the same as they were right before they burned down. So since Green Dolphin had burned down in the past and was rebuilt, it is a perfect place to use the stand. The stand user is Emporio Al Nino in reference to the fashion designer Emporio Armani and the stand's name is in reference to the talking head song, Burning Down the House. I ain't gonna lie, burning down the house, that shit was, you know what I'm saying, it was a hype, bro. Mid, 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 mid. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it at decent. Next up is one of my favorites, Foo Fighters, which is stated to be more accurately described as a new species rather than a stand, but the creature does possess the stand, Foo Fighters, as well as uses the name Foo Fighters. This bean was created by a stand disc being inserted into a colony of plankton by Poochie to act as a protector of his discs. What the stand appears as an enlarged plankton with mechanical features, but is actually made up of an entire colony of small smaller plankton, allowing the stand to disperse itself at will. This also makes the stand exceptionally durable, as it doesn't have any vital weak spots or vital organs, and even if a lot of the plankton die, they can just reproduce. The stand is most effective and comfortable in water, as it needs water to stay alive and that's where it lives, although it can roam the surface, but will need to stay exceptionally hydrated through water and bodily fluids it can drain from humans to maintain its health. The stand eventually opts to reside within a human host, which is a corpse from another prisoner, this being another ability of Foo Fighters, as the stand can invade human bodies with smaller plankton. In its human form, FF mm. will often use its finger as a gun to shoot smaller parts of itself like bullets, and throughout the part, similar to Stone Free, FF is extremely versatile and comes up with new uses for its ability often, like healing other people with plankton. The stand user is of course Foo Fighters, or FF, in reference to the American rock band. I ain't gonna lie, that one sound cool as hell, bruh. How's better than a main villain, though? But they go hand in hand, so... Hang on, I'ma still put this one in overpower. The nigga can't die. Like, you can't kill him. He has no vital spots. Marilyn Manson, the Deck Collector, is a stand similar to the Darby Brothers from Part 3, as its ability revolves around games and bets. The stand requires the target to make a bet with the user in a game of chance or skill, and if the target loses the bet, the stand will automatically collect the debt owed, but with some very specific rules, such as payment can only be something you own and will not accept stolen valuables or money, which almost always results in the stand taking away body parts from the target. And on top of this, the game is always rigged, as Merlin Manson will help the user cheat in its games free of consequence, but if the target tries to cheat or calls out the user on their cheating, the stand will consider it an instant game over and collect their debts. The stand will also attack physically to protect its user from bodily harm if attempted. The stand user is Mira Schoen after the Italian fashion designer Mila Schoen, and Marilyn Manson is in reference to the iconic artist of the same name. Wait, hold on. So do you have to accept the game challenge, bro? I'm gonna put that one in neutral too, bro. If you don't have to accept the game, you can just beat his ass real quick because he won't be able to use his stand. Weather Report is a stand that can control the weather. Shocking, I know, but more so than just rain and sleet, Weather Report can recreate any past weather event that has ever occurred in nature, including extremely specific events such as raining frogs and creating fire tornadoes. This ability also extends to being able to control the elements that make up water individually, like water, wind, warm fronts, cold fronts, heat resistance, and even molecules in the air such as oxygen and hydrogen. In its physical form, it appears as a humanoid stand made of clouds that can attack with force similar to stone free but with added elemental effects. Another extremely versatile stand, possibly the most versatile in the series, it's pretty insane what this thing does throughout part 6 and just its base form. The stand user is Weather Report, taking the same name as his stand as he suffers from amnesia and does not remember his name. The stand's musical reference what? is the jazz fusion band Weather Report. I mean Weather Report 
don't it's not the worst one on her i tell you that but it don't sound like the best one either i ain't gonna lie to you i'm gonna put this one at decent too jumping jack flash is a stand with the ability of zero gravity as after the user spits on his target Yes, spitting. This is actually it's how the stand is nasty. activated. The spit recipient will enter a state of zero gravity as well as anything they touch, including walls, floors, objects, other people, and even the air around them, which is what makes the stand so dangerous. As eventually, the lack of gravitational force in the air will create a vacuum where if a target is bleeding, the blood will rapidly be sucked out of their body. What? As well as due to the vacuum, anything containing oxygen becomes potentially explosive, like blood. The physical stand is also equipped with centrifuges attached to his wrist, which are a scientific instrument used to spin vials at an extremely high speed using centrifugal force, but the stand will use the centrifugal force to launch small objects like nuts or screws at the targets like bullets. And these projectiles with the zero gravity vacuum are a deadly combo. Also for some reason the stand user's fingers and toes have a suction cup property which allows him to maintain stable when in zero gravity, which isn't specified if it's part of the stand or if this guy is just a freak of nature. The stand user is Lane Ranger and Jumping Jack Flash is a reference to the Rolling Stones song of the same name i that one sounds cool as hell bro but i'm gonna put that one in i'm gonna put it at neutral limp biscuit is a stand with no physical appearance the and fuck? the ability to resurrect the dead as invisible zombies the user can reanimate all dead beings within a medium range as long what? as their remains are still present being able to raise the dead from their graves and animals from their skeletons and carcasses and these are pretty typical zombies pretty mindless having cravings for human flesh and enhanced strength except for of course they're always invisible as it's more like it's the spirits of the dead coming back, but they are still able to interact with the physical world. And even the stand user themselves upon death will turn into a zombie, something they were actually unaware of until after they died. The and they also become permanently invisible with those same zombie tendencies, although unlike others, the user will remain most of their intellect. The stand user is Sports Max in reference to the fashion brand Sport Max, and the stand's name Limp Biscuit is in reference to the rock band of the same name. And the stand's localized name is Flacet Pancake, which has been a long-running meme in the community for just the absurd attempt at localizing this name that one ain't it bro an invisible zombie wow now nah, i ain't gonna i'm gonna put that one in right, that one sounds dog shit i ain't gonna lie to you shit simple as fuck bro moving into the maximum security ward after jolene is punished for the events during the limp biscuit fight we are introduced to diver down the stand with the ability to store and release energy within objects on command though more often used is the stand's dive ability being able to phase through and into objects and people as the stand can be used simply just to reach through a wall or as a ladder or can dive inside a person's body and manipulate their inner structure to cause damage or to heal someone fuck? from the inside. This stand is often used to prevent damage as it can be placed inside a person to act as armor under the skin. Although the stand user cannot use this ability on themselves or phase through themselves with their stand. The stand That's user lame, is Narciso though. Enesui in reference to Narciso Rodriguez and Enesui, both fashion designers. Are you noticing a trend here in Stone Ocean? And how, can you, how are you not able to use the stand on your own body, bro? And the stand's name is in reference to the Van Halen album album of the same name diver down bro this shit is cool but i ain't gonna lie it could come in clutch i'm putting it in neutral bro it could come in clutch you should be able to use that on your own body though that's fucked up bro some of these stands are fucked up like they limit you to so much then again you got to because these shits is so unique once described by dio as the weakest stand survivor is an automatic and uncontrollable survivor. stand capable of causing complete chaos the stand appears as a colony of small flat creatures usually on a wet surface that when exposed to people will send a faint electrical current of 0.07 volts throughout the person's body, specifically affecting the limbic system in the brain. The undetectable current will slowly increase a person's it's aggravation like and trap. anger levels, eventually forcing most people into a blind rage, which also indirectly increases people's strength as they will be fighting with strong emotion and ignoring any pain. Dio had considered Survivor the weakest stand because he saw no value in chaos, saying, if all of your subordinates fight, your organization would crumble. But Pucci had seen the value in the stand and collected it. The original stand user was an unnamed lodge owner in France, but Pucci had inserted the stand's disc into Green Dolphin inmate Guccio in reference to fashion designer Guccio Gucci, and the stand's name is in reference to the American rock band Survivor. I'm a, I might have to change that disc shit. I'm gonna put that at overpower, bro. What's of these shits is from disc, bro? Like, what? I'm gonna put that one at decent. Planet Waves is a stand with the ability to attract meteors from space towards the user, although they will not hit the user, disintegrating right before making contact. All right, this one was the one that I was hating on that everybody ain't, ain't like me. Well, I don't know everybody, but I, I remember some of the comments on that one. 
contact, but will cause the area around them to be an unpredictable shower of meteors. The size and speed of the meteors can vary from small to pretty damn big and also seem to be completely random. The meteors will also make contact at about 3000 degrees due to the burning of oxygen as they enter the ozone layer. And the only possible way to hit the user with their own meteors is if it goes through something else first. Planet Wave's user is Vivano Westwood in reference to the fashion designer Vivene Westwood and the stand's name is in reference to the Bob Dylan album, Planet Waves. Although the stand was originally named Earth, Wind & Fire, this was changed after Hiraki realized he had already used the name before. I'm not gonna lie, that stand is still not all of that to me, bro. This shit is still, it's decent, but it's not all of that, bro. Like, I feel like so many people can fucking avoid that shit. Dragon's Dream is a stand that works in tandem with its user's natural fighting abilities as it works as a compass to determine lucky and unlucky spots and relay that information to the user. Lucky spots being where the user can avoid attacks and unlucky spots being where the user should attack to ensure the most lethal hits on his opponents. The stands What in the hell, bro? So one certain spot you can avoid shit. Bro, okay. Okay. Lucky and unlucky what? spots are based on the Chinese pseudoscience feng shui, which is the practice of harmonization with your surroundings and environment, said to improve all aspects of your life when living in the correct alignments. The user can also transport his limbs into the stand's physical form, like a portal, to attack from unlucky spots and unexpected angles. In order, nigga, what, what? to use the stand effectively, it requires the user to be a master of feng shui. Dragon's Dream's user is Kenzo in reference to the fashion brand, and the stand's name is in reference to the Thom Brennan album, The Dragon's Dream. Alright, I ain't gonna lie, that one, that shit is just unfair, bro. That shit is overpowered, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Yo-Yo Ma is an extremely long-range and automatic stand with complete automaty, having its own personality completely separate from the stand user, and it's pretty annoying. The stand poses as an ally, helping Jolene and the gang escape from prison guards in an attempt to befriend the group, with its intentions of slowly killing them with its acid saliva ability, being able to spray a deadly acid around itself while the stand drools which is undetectable. Once exposed to the stand's acid, it will cause pain and bleeding and even the melting of flesh. What the stand the is also fuck? extremely durable, being able to withstand bullets and punches from multiple stands. The stand itself is never actually killed, only withdrawn after disabling the user. Yo-Yo Ma's user is DNG in reference to the fashion brand Dolce & Gabbana, and the stand's name is in reference to the famous famous cellist, Yo-Yo Ma. So basically it's overpowered, but it's not at the same time, bro. Like, what the fuck? Motherfucker's got two different person. I would hate to have this damn stand, bro. I'm gonna put it at decent. I ain't gonna put it at dog shit. I'm gonna put it at decent. What the fuck? You get spit on. It's over with. Green Green Grass of Home is another stand with a shrinking ability, although it is an automatic stand with the purpose of protecting its user from harm. I ain't gonna lie. This motherfucker must love Ant-Man and the Wasp because he love these shrinking abilities. The stand works by shrinking anyone in increments of half the closer they get to the stand, thus making the stand unreachable. But if close enough, the stand's physical form will attack. If for example, you tripped and fell on the stand, you would infinitely shrink until you were erased out of existence as you what? would just never be able to reach the stand. The stand user will recall its stand's effect on people it finds interesting or friendly as the stand user doesn't have much intellect. The stand user is the green baby, a creation of Dio's bone, the ability of Limp Bizkit, and the effects of the new moon. And the stand's name, Green Green Grass of home is in reference to the Porter Wagner song of the same name. Bro, this shit got a weakness with that damn friendly shit. I'm put that one at decent. Making his return in Stone Ocean through memories and flashbacks is Dio with the world. And although we don't really see the stand do anything, we do see the stand. So I thought it was worth mentioning. I think we all know what the world does. Very Fuck similar the world. to Star Platinum, which we already covered in terms of its physical capabilities. And its time stop reaches a maximum of nine seconds in part three because of Dio's vampiric abilities. Although in part six, we do see Dio heal Poochie's birth defect, which isn't really explained, so possibly this is one of the world's powers that wasn't shown in part 3, or maybe one of his vampiric powers. I mean, if he was on here, I'll put him at neutral with Star Platinum, because it's literally the same shit. Back in Green Dolphin, and during Jolene's attempt at escaping, there is one more stand in the way, Jailhouse Lock, with the ability of short-term memory loss. The stand is activated if someone comes in contact with the area just beyond the visiting room of the prison, a last line of defense for escape attempts. The stand will only allow the affected individual individual to remember three things at a time, thus making complicated thought processes or escape plans impossible to remember. The stand user will also interact with their target, bombarding them with new information, enhancing the stand's effect. Is it, is it supposed to be one of the guards? This sounds like it would be one of the guards for real. 
Xbox user is Mucha Mueller, also known as Mew Mew, in reference to Mucha Prada and Prada sub-brand Mew Mew. And the stand's name is in reference to the Elvis Presley song, Jailhouse Rock. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. If you in jail, say goodbye, bro. You're staying in that bitch. Unless you remember three things. Ah, uh, that one is decent, too. Following the escape of Green Dolphin, we have the final minor villain fights of the part, the three sons of Dio, starting with Bohemian Rhapsody. This stand's ability is to bring fictional <coughs> characters to life, which is just about as insane as it sounds. The fictional characters will manifest in reality by coming off of pages or drawings or screens, kind of leaping off the page into life, and are often distorted versions of their originals. But they will also continue out their faded lives from within their stories in reality. Some of the fictional characters brought to life in this arc include the stick figure man on street signs, Pinocchio, Snow White, and the Seven Dwarves, and even Spider-Man. The stand can also bring to life real people the from the past like it did with artist Van Gogh, and if a real person sees a fictional character they admire, their souls will be split between themselves and the life of the character and real people will begin acting out these fictional characters fates and sometimes even transforming into them the stand's effective range is unlimited meaning it is a global effect where everyone on earth is experiencing the effects of the stand and it is only defeated by anisui convincing van gogh to create a new character of a new fictional character that would then come to life with the power to eliminate all other fantasy heroes which kind of looks like a stand named put back and it uses a vacuum to suck up all the characters and defeat the stand. So shout out to Putback. The stand user is Ungolo, and the stand's name is in reference to the Queen song, Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm gonna put that one at neutral. I'm gonna put that at neutral. Second son of Dio, we have the stand Sky High with the ability to control Raws, which are extremely small organisms that float throughout the air at high speeds, undetectable to the naked eye. These fictional creatures in the world of JoJo are based on a real life phenomenon of when cameras with slow shutter speeds would capture insects flying in the frame. And during photo development, Element, they became elongated and appeared similar to rods. And in the real world, it was disputed whether these insects captured in the images were a new species until the myth was disproven and they discovered how shutter speeds work. But back Yo, to how the f How do you find out about this, bro? Where do you find out about this shit at? Sky High, so in the world of JoJo, these rods are in fact real insects, but they are not a stand. Sky High's ability is merely to control them with this wrist attachment that has a pterodactyl head on it for some reason. The rods move at extremely high speeds of 200 kilometers per second, feeding off of energy and heat to maintain the speed. The user can command the rods to attack specific body parts to feed off of that won't really kill the target, but make them an easier target to attack by closing their eyelids, twisting their ankles, or even attacking parts of the brain that give them a delayed sense of perspective. Sky High's user user is Raquel in reference to the French fashion designer Sonia Raquel and the stand's name is in reference to the Jigsaw song of the same name. Do them rods affect them motherfuckers that bad? Cause if not, he gotta have hands to finish him off. You just can't let these bitches hit you. I'm put it in neutral though. And now for the final son of Dio with the stand Underworld, an ability Underworld. able to recreate and replay memories of events stored in the ground. Otherwise, being able to manifest and recreate Wait, people what? and events from the past. This and now for the final son of Dio with the stand Underworld, an ability able to recreate and replay memories of events stored in the ground, otherwise being able to manifest and recreate people and events from the past. This ability can be used similarly to Moody Blues from part 5, replaying memories to find information, but can also be used offensively by recreating disasters such as plane crashes and trapping your target inside that disaster. Recreated events cannot be altered and must play out exactly as they did in the past, with all objects and people involved reliving their same fate. And it's up to the target of the stand to try to figure out how to survive the disaster by interacting with the people from the past to try to find out who lived and who died. Underworld's user is Donatello Versus, whose name is in reference to the fashion designer Donatello Versace, as well as his backstory is a pretty much one-to-one -one retelling of the character Stanley Yelnats from the novel Holes. Underworld's name is in reference to the electronic music group of the same name. This motherfucker works for the devil. Memories from underground. I'll put that decent. Entering the final stages of Stone Ocean, we have the stand Heavy Weather, the fully complete version of Weather Report after being to reunited say. with its memory disc. And Heavy Weather is an absolutely terrifying stand, being automatic and uncontrollable with the ability of manipulating and even destroying the Earth's ozone layer if activated for too long. Although the stand's main ability is to subconsciously alter the ozone layer to create rainbows that will send subliminal messages to anyone that sees them. These messages will convince anyone who looks at them that they are 
snails, and it will cause the affected to act as if they are snails, mentally and physically. This effect is spread to anyone who comes in contact with an affected person, even if they do not look at the rainbows, causing the Wait. snail effect to rapidly spread, like a snail apocalypse. And although it's visualized as people transforming into snails, it's just their imaginations. Heavy Weather's user is Weather Report with his stand and memory disc, and both of their names are in reference to the band and album of the same name. That shit sounds overpowered, bro. It sounds goofy, but it's overpowered. Following the chaos caused by heavy weather, Pucci arrives at Cape Canaveral for another awakening, as after fusing with the green baby, he evolves his stand white snake into Sea Moon, a stand burning Pucci a little bit closer to heaven with the power to manipulate gravity. Sea Moon first makes Pucci the center point of a reverse gravitational force, affecting a three kilometer circumference around Pucci, pushing everything away from him in all directions, as if you were falling off a cliff. Which makes things pretty trippy what during this fight, as if you were in front of Pucci at the time of Sea Moon's activation, you would fall downwards vertically, but if you were behind him, you would fall upwards, as you're just being pushed away from him, it doesn't this matter what direction. Is flipping the this world. force affects all what, people what, and bro? objects, giving the appearance that the world has been tipped on its side. While Pucci has complete control over his own gravitational force, being able to stand sideways or simply float in zero G. Physically, the stand's fists have an inverse effect that cause anything they come in contact with to turn inside out, causing any blow to be potentially fatal. As well as Pucci can invert parts of himself freely to avoid attacks without causing oh, any damage. Hey, oh, this no. attack is countered by Jolene by weaving her strings together into a Mobius strip, which is a shape that cannot be physically inverted. Sea Moon is in reference to the Paul McCartney song of the same name, and the stand user is Pucci when fused with the green baby, also referred to as New Moon Pucci. I'm gonna put that one in neutral. And now for the final stand in Stone Ocean, Made in Heaven. The fully evolved stand of Pucci and the green baby, obtained through completing the steps to achieve heaven. I knew I wasn't tweaking, bro. I was about to say, don't he have another stand? Because I literally watched the video on Made in Heaven. From Dio's diary. A plan nearly 30 years in the making, starting with Dio engraving the 14 phrases into his soul, destroying his stand in his physical body, then being reborn through the green baby by sacrificing the souls of 36 sinners to give his will a physical form once again. The successor Pucci. Hey, they had a whole plan for this? Bro. <laughs> Bro, what? But it would then fuse with Dio's will being the green baby, creating Sea Moon, which then allowed Pucci to be properly aligned with the new moon and gravity to ascend to heaven and finally obtain Made in Heaven. Easy enough. So now with the power of Made in Heaven, Pucci is able to accelerate time all the way to the end of the universe, the singularity, what? resulting in the universe being reborn at the time right about when the part started, where all living beings alive and to ever exist in the future will have already seen their fates, knowing their lives from start to finish. What? Which is what Dio had considered freedom or heaven. As fate is an inescapable force in the world of Jojo, and according to Dio, in order to truly live free is to accept one's fate. So through the power of Made in Heaven and being able to accelerate time all the way to the singularity point, Pucci was temporarily successful with his mission. He had killed all of those who opposed his goal, denying them of seeing heaven, which is why in the Reset universe, the main cast is replaced with generic lookalike versions of themselves as placeholders to keep the universe's integrity intact, as Pucci had killed them all just before before resetting the universe, so he was just denying them the privilege of living in this new world where everyone has heaven. Although from the original universe, Emporio was the only ally able to escape and reach heaven along with Pucci, and with the knowledge of his fate was able to defeat Pucci, causing Made in Heaven to cease to exist, resulting in the birth <laughs> of a new universe, much like the original, but without the existence of Pucci's influence. Assuming that in this universe, the plan to achieve heaven died with Dio. In this new universe at the end of the part, we see the main cast living different but better lives, as well as fate still brings these characters together, showing that they were always destined to be friends. And personality-wise, they are still generally the same people we knew throughout the part, although importantly, Jolene is now named Irene, but she is still the same person as Jolene, only now she is free from the Joestar fate, living out her own destiny and no longer needs to be destined to fight evil, so she doesn't need the Jojo naming scheme anymore. So what may seem like a tragic ending at first is actually the most beautiful outcome possible, the cre so creation of a truly wonderful wonderful world for all of the characters to live out the rest of their lives together and in peace he just changed the whole damn world okay that's god's era that's crazy bro he really just changed the whole world look dude the only one survived don't know how them motherfuckers sound like the weakest dude these jojo stands are too unique for my brain to even process everything